Now on to Iran. Today, the country's supreme leader said the West, quote, won't bring Iran to its knees, but it could turn off the TV, it turns out. A top European satellite provider ended its contract with Iran's broadcast company, pulling 19 Iranian state-owned TV and radio channels right off the air. That'll fix them. With me now is Dr. Zudi Jasser, founder and president of the American Islamic Forum for Democracy. Welcome to our show. Um, I understand that you were part of a coalition or a board who did this elsewhere. Where, where was that and what was the impact? Well, in 2003, we got together with a coalition of uh, against terrorist media that Mark Dubowitz had started. And we basically said El Minar TV, which was uh, the Iranian arm of Hezbollah, Hezbollah TV that was uh, advertising for terrorism and anti-Western, anti-Semitic speech in Europe. We were able to get French satellites and others to cancel that, and uh, through Mark's leadership, uh, we did that. And it was very effective because this was a mechanism of radicalizing Iranian expatriates and Muslims in Europe and elsewhere uh, by watching El Minar, which basically glorified suicide bombing. And I think today's move by e by the EU to uh, further cut off media is a significant body blow and sends a very clear message like we did back in 2004. Does it further isolate the Iranians and, and does it isolate the people or does it isolate the government? I think it isolates the government. The people, uh, you know, the, the good people, the millions that were in the Green Revolution in 2009, I think need leadership from our White House to say that we got their back and we're behind them. But uh, the government needs to be isolated. They're being isolated through uh, monetary sanctions, through uh, uh, military sanctions and others. And now we see the uh, communication sanctions because their best asset on the ground when they want to threaten us through terror acts or other things is the human assets of communication and these 19 stations that uh, the EU Telsat removed is part of their way to communicate with other Iranian assets they have in Europe but isn't and in the everybody West. on the internet now I mean isn't the way that they you know the whole Arab Spring got underway was on the internet on Facebook I mean so it, it may have an impact to pull the TV stations but everybody just moves right over to the internet right if they're not there already uh, Absolutely, Melissa, and that's the, that's the important part of this, why it's much more symbolic. Most of the Muslims I know have little gizmos hooked up to their TV that allow them to watch Internet TV and press TV and others that are coming from Iran will continue to stream in. So the threat ideologically is still there. But symbolically, you have the West telling them that you no longer have the freedom to spread your hate and vile and your anti-Western conspiracy theories and gain the economics. Remember, the head of the IRB uh, yeah. from Iran is on the sanction list. And, uh, you know, Russia, by the way, an ally of Iran, just kicked out our Radio Free Liberty folks, kicked out USAID. So this is a tit for tat. And I think we're sending a clear message that their their ideas of radicalism. Yeah. Remember, the IRB mission is to spread the supremacy of the Islamic State I, throughout I the world. I hear what you're saying, but I wonder, and I ask this question every day, does this particular action do anything to stop Iran from getting closer to having a nuclear bomb? Um, well, I think obviously if we take the military issue off the table, it does not. I think they need to know that this is a step that may lead in a certain direction, which we're isolating them, and they have to know that the military, op military option is always on the table because these types of fascists, these theocratic fascists, only respond to force, knowing that the, f the option of force is never being removed from the table, as Prime Minister Netanyahu but, but and others have said. But this kind of pressure and the economic pressure and the sanctions and everything we've done, I don't know that it doesn't push them closer to getting a bomb because they're getting angrier and they feel like it's their only response. Is, the, is there any way it's back? firing. Well, Melissa, the last four years of the Obama administration have demonstrated that this soft peddling diplomacy of leading from behind actually emboldens them. So yeah. I, I don't think there's that much evidence to show that a strong posturing, peace through strength type of approach would actually be no. more effective. Okay. I mean, Syria has imploded because of our inability to do anything, allowing Iran and, and Russia to basically allow Assad to destroy that population okay. without any impact from America. Dr. Jasser, thanks for coming on.